Hello everyone, this is Ivan with Create Your Future. I am a certified life coach. I specialize in personal development, relationships, and the law of attraction. And today I wanted to do a video of how to live in your new story and not go back to the old, okay? This video is inspired by a success that one of my clients um, recently had where she was able to release the old assumptions of her SP and move forward into staying persistent with the new assumptions. Not only that, since I know the holidays are coming, I know a lot of you are wanting to be with your SPs for the holidays or for any special moment. So I'm gonna show you how this client and I work together to actually make sure that her SP spent her birthday with her and she had an amazing time, okay? But first, let me remind you that we're currently running a contest where as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, three lucky winners will be chosen. And those three lucky winners will get a free coaching session with the coach of their choice. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also make sure you comment um, down below how the law of attraction or the law of assumption has helped you create something wonderful in your life. And make sure to like and share these videos so it gets to a lot of people and we could reach that goal even sooner, all right? So let's jump into the story. So this client came to me a couple of months ago and this client and her SP have been dating for a couple of years. Now just dating, never anything serious, but she wanted the commitment, you know? It's always like she was always holding off on the, he was holding off on the commitment. Now, because of those seven years, there was a lot of story to revise. And, you know, every session that we had, she would go back to the past over and over and over and over. And it's like every single time she was very stubborn about how, how unavailable he was, how he was like not showing any emotions or appreciation to her, but there, but she was still like, you know, wanting to jump into the new story, but there was a part of her that was still in the past. So, you know, session to session, and we would tell her to, start, I would tell her to persist in the new story and to persist in the new version of her that accepts the story. Now, this client became a little bit more stressed because her birthday was coming up and she really wanted to have a special moment with her SP. Now, she said that in previous years, her SP would not spend birthdays with her and would make excuses and she would end up going with friends or something else there and maybe go on a date like a couple of days later because she felt as her SP would only, would consider them dating, dating like official if the, if he was to spend her birth, their birthday together. So this client was very, you know, her goal was, I want to be on my birthday, I want to spend it in a special moment with my SP. So a lot of people, when it comes to holidays, birthdays, or any special event, they tend to get very stressed out and very, you know, they start to um, get very anxious about the date. And what happens is that the mind starts to react to that and will start throwing a lot of contradictions to you, okay? So what this client and I did was um, we, what I told her, she had to be in a very strict mental diet, okay? So what do I mean by a strict mental diet? So it is, of course, being aware of your thoughts, but it's not only just being aware of them, it's actually taking initiative to make sure you stay positive through the experience when you're trying to manifest on a time crunch, okay? Okay. So it was two weeks until the SP, that the birthday was coming. So she was, you know, I told her, okay, so you have two weeks. You have to stay super strict on your mental diet. You want to make sure that you're staying aware and it helps you. And it's not just because I don't, it's not to create stress or anxiety around the manifestation process, but it's, it's for you to keep yourself in a state of receiving rather than a state of rejecting, okay? So remember that when, it's like when we were younger and we were taking a test, a very important test, we would freak out about it and we were, and we were you know, studying, 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 you know, until we built the confidence that we could actually pass that test. And sure enough, we would pass it if we like put in enough time in it, you know, and it's the same thing, you know, it's, it, you're, you're actually studying your intentions, your affirmations, studying your, you know, your own mind to making sure that it stays consistent, that this is something that is available and very, very possible. So she did exactly that. So what would she do? She would wake up and start expressing gratitude first thing in the morning. So that would already elevate her state into being more grateful for the day. You know, she would be grateful amongst some personal things and also some things that she was going to experience with her SP. 
Now make sure that everything that you start to intend, you say it in present tense, you know? So say something like, you know, she was saying like, so happy and grateful that SP and I are spending my birthday together and he's so excited about it. And he is always looking forward to spending more and more and more time with me. Don't ever say something where it's, you know, towards the future because then the universe will say, well, yeah, in the future, I'll give it to you. Yeah, in the future, you want it now. So make sure that you are keeping conscious of how you are actually speaking out. What is it that you're speaking out as far as your affirmations, your intentions? Make sure that they're statements, you know, that's something that's already happened rather than a possibility. Just say it as something that happened. Now, a lot of clients ask me, but it's because sometimes I say my affirmations or my intentions and I feel like I reject them. Well, that's normal because remember, for so long, your mind was programmed to be on an autopilot of, of question, of doubt, maybe sometimes fear, you know? So when the, when the mind is used to living in that program and now you're jumping into awareness, it's going to say, wait a minute, what's going on? We're on autopilot. Now you're actually changing things up on us. So the same way that your SP will conform to the affirmations or the intentions, you will start to conform to the ideas and then they become an assumption. And then they move over to the facts that you will realize in your future, in your future or your, you know, very soon. So um, this is the, what the client did was she was very consistent with everything, very organized waking up in the morning, expressing a sense of gratitude every single morning. You know, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my colleagues. I'm grateful for opportunity. And then she would also express things that were to come. I'm grateful for abundance. I'm grateful for, you know, loving experiences with SP. I'm grateful that he wants me and only me. So she would go about that. As she was getting ready and getting for work and stuff, affirmations of how wonderful, amazing, exciting, how like every everyone wants to be in her company because she's funny, because she is delightful, because all anything that she could think of, she would just start going on, gone going off. When she would get to her workplace, she would focus on her work. And anytime that her mind would wander to SP, immediately she would go into like, this is happening, everything works out for me, I have peace of mind. I know I can do this. I am already doing it. It's already a done deal. I'm spending my birthday with this person. This person is so excited to appreciate and value me. Everything's working. And she would go around her, about her day. In the afternoon, again, she would focus on her intentions for like 10 to 15 minutes. And then at night, she would do the same. And then she would visualize the perfect scene of them being together on her birthday. So this was kind of like a pattern that she followed. And she did it, you know, very like she stayed very consistent to it for every single day until she got a phone call from her SP and he said, Hey, what are you doing this year for your birthday? And she was super excited and she said, um, I'm not sure yet, planning something. He said, I want to take you out for dinner. Maybe we could go to a bar afterwards. Let's make it special, you know. So he took her out for an amazing dinner. They had an amazing time. And not only that, she actually spent the following day with him and they had a wonderful day. And she said she got so excited and so motivated to where she's saying, you know what? It's not even a strict mental diet. It's just a way of living to where you are focused and making sure that you stay consistent with yourself, okay? So one of the things of how to stay into this new story that you want to, to start to um, focus on is, you know, the way that you speak to yourself. One of my favorite techniques um, is self-talk. I, I love self-talk. You know, the way that you talk to yourself is very, very important because maybe in the past, the way that you would talk to yourself would be in a very doubtful or negative way, you know, maybe a little judgmental towards yourself. So now that you are aware, you're jumping into speaking to yourself with trust with a sense of loyalty to you. You're talking to yourself with kindness, you know, with awareness. So your mind starts to adapt to the way that you like and reflect that, that same appreciation you're showing to yourself into your outer world. So this is a great way for you to stay in the new story, you know, and anytime that you feel any resentment or any, you know, maybe some uh, let's say anger or sadness over a previous experience, just know that 
from that experience, there was a lot of strength that was gained from that, you know, which led you to you discovering your awareness, you know, your power, your ability to create. So make sure that you start making peace. I actually say in one of my shorts, I think that premiered this week, it was you need to make peace with any situation in the past by forgiving yourself first and then learning to forgive others so that you can move forward into the new story. And that's another thing, you know, forgiveness is such a powerful tool. Forgiveness to self is amazing to jump into the version of us where we trust ourselves. And once you trust yourself, you actually believe in yourself. You're actually inspired by yourself. You're actually creating something magnificent at this point because there is no longer any doubt in your mind that you could do it because you're you're fully indulging in you, okay? So forgiving yourself. And it's as simple as just, you know, making you, maybe like before you go to bed, you know, I forgive myself for anything that I've done or created in the past. It doesn't serve me, but I'm grateful that I've learned a wonderful experience. And day by day, I'm getting stronger and I'm getting better and I'm achieving and I'm successful and everything is coming to me perfectly just as I want it to, okay? So these were some of, uh, some of the things that the client did to actually get what she wanted within a time crunch, but also, you know, start to live more in the new story. So recap. Okay, staying very, uh, staying to a strict mental diet by making sure that your surroundings are positive, by making sure that the talk that you're having within is positive, by making sure that you are motivating and inspiring yourself that the things are already done deal, you know, speaking in presence, okay? Another thing is a forgiveness of the past to allow a perfect future. So remember, go within yourself. I'm sorry for whatever it is that I've done. That's why I really like Pono. And actually, I'll save a, a, a video later. I'm actually working on a video for you guys later where I would get a little bit more in depth with the Ho'oponopono process. But it's, it's as simple as just saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. You know, so that is another way to actually start releasing that past, you know, and all those limiting beliefs and all those blocks, it's a great way and a great tool to um, use, okay? So remember, you're trying to manifest in a time crunch, stay focused, you know? energy all direct have a target a focal point i am spending holidays birthdays special events with sp he wants to or he or she wants to spend all these moments with me it is already done i am doing it it is happening i'm having fun doing it it is exciting remember focus 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 all right so please remember that i am available for one-on-one -on -one coaching Links are down below and I look forward to meeting a lot of you and I hope this video helped and just remember that you can do it, okay? There is nothing in this world that you cannot achieve. If you stick to it and you stay persistent to it, you will make amazing things out of your life, all right? It was a pleasure as always and I'll see you next week. Bye.